we are the best team in this league. And we're going to show it today by ground and pound and beating them into submission. They say, help me up. I say, hell no. Put your foot on their throat and don't take it off, even if they turn purple. Today is our day. Today is our day of reign of terror on this league. This is a dream that you can win. A look at Seattle, Washington, site of LFL football night. Hello, LFL fans. Mitch Mortaza joining you once again alongside Bobby Huco. And here we go, Bobby. We've got the Green Bay Chill versus the Seattle Mist, both trying to keep pace with a very good Los Angeles team. Let's talk about Seattle first. Mitch, Seattle really has a lot to prove tonight. Last year in 2013, they were undefeated in the regular season. Then in the playoffs against Chicago, one and done. They were out. The big news during the offseason, though, they released quarterback Laurel Creel, who choked against Chicago, and they signed one of the most highest profile quarterbacks ever in the LFL, Angela Rippon, who played for Baltimore last year, but started her career right here in Seattle. Outside of Rippon, look for longtime vet Jessica Hopkins to have another all-fantasy season on both sides of the ball. She's a great cover safety and a sure-handed receiver. And you talk about both sides of the ball. On the extreme end of that with the Green Bay Chill, You've got a major development in the offseason at the quarterback position. Of course, they lost the legendary Ann Erler, Showtime Erler, on both sides of the ball, namely a quarterback. And what they've done is they've converted a traditional wide receiver in Jessica Payton to now potentially their franchise quarterback. That's got to be tough. Now, you being the former quarterback, Bobby, what can you do to convert a traditional wide receiver to a franchise quarterback? It's, it's funny, Mitch. When I talk to Coach Brown, he thinks they're not going to skip a beat by putting Peyton at quarterback in place of Erla. I find that hard to believe because Erla was one of the best players ever. For her to play quarterback, though, she's got the skills. Brown thinks she has an above-average arm, so she can play. But being a receiver, I think she's going to have antsy feet in the pocket, look to run real quick. It'll take time, a couple games, until she stays in the pocket as a quarterback. Well, she'll be tested early against the Seattle Miss defense. And when we return, it is the Green Bay Chill taking on the Seattle Mist. Kickoff is next. We are back to the Showwear Center in Seattle, a near packed house. The Seattle Miss versus the Green Bay Chill, a good one, Bobby. Absolutely, Mitch. Seattle, they're coming in with a chip on their shoulder. They were undefeated last year, 4-0. Then they lost to Chicago in the playoffs. Coach Michelson has this team ready. They have some superstar players from Canada to help them out. They should be a contender this year, Mitch. A lot of storylines in this one. As you mentioned, there are four former BC Angels players from LFL Canada on that Seattle missed roster as Danielle Lucci, the rookie with the big leg, gets us underway. And that is, that's Jessica Hopkins. And Hopkins on the big return. A 38-yard return by Jessica Hopkins. And now Angela Rippon talking to her about her return. I think with the first year that I was here with Seattle, I was young and raw. But with the second go around, I think I'm far more mature and I definitely have a better appreciation for the game. Mitch, she has a lot of confidence. Look at her stats right there. They're not outstanding about 50%, but she's got a gun. All she needs is to grasp this Seattle offense. Michelson's offense is pretty complex. Once she gets that, she can be an elite quarterback. Now Rippin under center. That is a right side pitch play to Stevie Schnorr. The power back goes for about nine yards on her first carry for the mist. Power game for Seattle last year was wide open, ball all over the air. But now with these big Canadian players, they're going to a power running game this year, Mitch. Now a second and one from the Green Bay 10-yard line. That's Schnorr again. And Schnorr will get about seven yards on that carry. If you can get seven yards every time with Stevie Shore, just give her the ball. That's why they're taking it out of the air and pounding it on the ground. And now a no huddle offense by Seattle. Ripping from the shotgun. Looking to her right side. And short hops it to Jessica Hopkins. Wide open the end zone. Ripping just short on the ball. Hopkins was wide open. Should have been six points for Seattle right there. Michelson's going nuts on the sideline. Now Angela Rippon facing a fourth and goal from the one yard line. Again from the shotgun, trying the left side this time. 
just missing LaShonda Fowler, who was running wide open over the middle. Again, Rippin short armed the ball and didn't get the ball to her. It should have been another six points for Seattle. Rippin's got to calm down. She's got some nerves here in her first start in Seattle. Now a third and goal play. Ball back at about the three yard line. Fowler in motion. Left side handoff to Jessica Hopkins. Found a seam and it's closed quickly. And Hopkins manages about two yards on that carry. Michelson going all running game early with Schnorr and Hopkins and Green Bay defense is looking good right there. Jessica Hopkins, the all fantasy player. She runs the ball, she catches the ball. She does it all for Seattle. Let's see if she can take it in right now. Perhaps one of the most underrated offensive players in the game. Hopkins, one of the best possession receivers, can also play a little running back for you. She does it all, Mitch, and one of the best I've ever seen in the LFL. Now a fourth and goal from the Green Bay one-yard line. From the wishbone, left side handoff, LaShonda Fowler. And that is the Seattle Miss first score of the 2014 season. And it comes from LaShonda Fowler. Not a pretty drive, Mitch, but Rippin, she's a leader of this team right now. She took him in for six, not pretty, but six points for Seattle. That was a six play, 19 yard drive. Capped by that one yard LaShonda Fowler touchdown. Mitch, I am so used to seeing that wide open West Coast Seattle offense ball flying all over and they just pounded it and pounded it and pounded it all the way down the field. You gotta appreciate Michelson, the way he can change the offense according to the players that he has. Now a two point conversion attempt for Seattle and that's Angela Rippon continuing to struggle but Seattle's up six to nothing. Back to Seattle, Washington. And this is our first look at the Green Bay Chill offense led by Jessica Payton. The much talked about Payton taking over for Ann Erler. And she's gonna get it underway for this offense. A design draw play by the quarterback. And that'll go for nine yards. Mitch, we talked about that before the game. I think we're gonna see a lot with her running quarterback draws. And let's listen in to Payton taking over for Erler. I don't feel like there's any extra pressure on me this year. Last year it was Ann's team, but this year it's my team. And this is how I want to run my team this year and my offense. And I have a great deal of confidence in my offense. Coach Brown really likes her at the quarterback position. He doesn't think they're going to skip a beat the quarterback position, but it's going to take some time. She's got to have some butterflies. First time under the center as a starter. Now Peyton under center, inside handoff. Amber Main, nothing doing. There's that interior Seattle defense. Now let's meet the Green Bay offense. Anna Hazeman, wide receiver. Amber McCullen, center. Suzanne Astrud, tight end. Amber Main, running back. Teresa Garay, tight end. Seth Ponzer, wide receiver. Jessica Payton, quarterback. Mitch, we talked about Payton, her first start at quarterback, but Amber Main is the key tonight. She has to play big at running back, take the heat off of Payton. And now Amber Main on the left side, and she'll go about four yards before she hits the wall. Let's meet the Seattle defense. Stevie Schnorr, middle linebacker. LaShonda Fowler, defensive end. Deanna Shape Cotter, defensive end. Megan Hansen, defensive end. Veronica Valido, safety. Lily Granson, strong safety. Jessica Hopkins, free safety. The heart and soul of that defense, an all-fantasy player, Jessica Hopkins. She's got to be the soul tonight to play big against Green Bay. Tell you what, that Lily Granston looks tough. A second and six play. Once again in the middle and once again nothing. That is Stevie Schnorr, the outstanding middle linebacker from the BC Angels, now wearing the green for Seattle. Seattle looks like a completely different team. They were the West Coast Seattle team. Now they look like the power team. Look at the size up front they have this year. Definitely a lot of interior size for Seattle. And now Green Bay will have to go up against that defense on a third and six play. As Peyton being tested early in this game. High motion. Peyton under center. A handoff to Stephanie Ponzer and nothing doing. That's Lily Granston, the outstanding corner, rookie corner. Great in coverage, Bobby, but also can come up against the run. She's a great player, but you got to question 
Coach Gilbert Brown said he has all kind of confidence in Peyton's arm, but there it was, third and six, a huge play, and they kept it on the ground and got nothing. There has been absolutely no production in the middle. You would think they try to go outside. Now a fourth and six play from under center, scrambling to the left side. And she finds her receiver, Stephanie Ponzer, but well short of a first down as Green Bay will turn it over on downs. You could tell right there, Mitch, she's not a quarterback by trade. He was running to her left. You have to square the arms and put the opposite, the opposite shoulder toward the receiver. She didn't square, threw a flutter ball out. Luckily got caught, but for no gain. Now Seattle once again takes over as Coach Gilbert Brown trying to figure this one out. A little under two minutes remaining in the first quarter. And Seattle up six to nothing. Rippin looking over the defense under center. Now a fake handoff, gonna scramble to the right side and just overshoots LaShonda Fowler and just cannot connect with her receivers tonight, Bobby. Mitch, she is off tonight. I don't know what's going on. I thought she was gonna come in here on fire. This is her team and she hasn't completed a pass. In fact, she's not even close to anybody. That was way overthrown right there. Easy pass, on the run, not a completion. Angela Rippin struggling tonight so far. Now second and 10 handoff to Megan Hansen. Gets to the second layer of the defense. And Hansen goes for about 13 yards on that carry. Coach Michelson going back to his old tricks with the Seattle offense. Actually taking the offense out of Rippin's hands on an inside reverse to the tight end. Megan Hansen getting a strong 13 yards and another first down for Seattle. We're coming to the end of the first quarter. And now Rippin from shotgun. Looking over the middle. And that ball is tipped. That's Kara Alexander. Kara Alexander with the interception brings it all the way back to the 15 yard line. What a big play by the rookie corner. Mitch, you gotta wonder how long Coach Michelson will stay with Angela Rippon. She is not hitting anything. Kara Alexander underneath picks off an easy pass. Right now, Michelson's gotta wonder. He has a strong quarterback backing up Rippon. Marianne Hansen, who was the MVP of the LFL Championship in Canada. What do you think, Mitch? Does he pull her this quick? I don't think you do that this early to potentially your franchise quarterback. You've got to give her a chance to work through the nerves. And this should be the last play of the first quarter as Peyton's back under center. Sorry, shotgun. And she's going to scramble up the middle, going to try the left side, finds a seam. And all the way down to about the Seattle two-yard line, Jessica Peyton in Green Bay threatening. And Kara Alexander, the rookie, comes up big. to the beautiful Pacific Northwest for LFL football night. A great Western Conference clash, the Green Bay chill, the Seattle missed as we listen to coach Chris Michelson. What, what are you fucking doing? If you want to play on this fucking defense, you better get aggressive. That's some bullshit. You left that fucking gap wide open. You're so far in the fucking outside. Squeeze in. The gap isn't getting outside. The gap is to close the closest shit in and squeeze. Coach Michelson is hot, Mitch. I haven't seen him this fired up so early in the game in his entire career. Right there, he was yelling at Stormy Keffler, the rookie, trying to put her in line and get this team fired up. They're only up a touchdown on Green Bay right now. A first and goal inside handoff, cutting to the outside. Amber Main, nothing doing as that interior defense continues to thrive with Seattle. Right now, at the point of the attack, Seattle's defensive line is outpowering the Green Bay strong offensive line, usually Ambo made, she can get in from three yards out, but right there, Seattle stuffed her. And now that Seattle crowd coming to life. We've heard about them at Quest Field with the Seahawks. That energy's here tonight at the Showwear Center, and there is that defense. Once again, this time, Lily Granston. We talked about her earlier, the outstanding corner. He's a great corner, but this shows you the Green Bay offense is not the same without Annie Erler, the MVP of the team. Peyton's trying to do the job, but they're having a hard time getting the ball in the end zone inside the five-yard line. And that'll set up a third and goal. Ball at the one-yard line. Peyton under center. That's a design sweep to the left, and Jessica Peyton draws blood as the Green Bay Chill finally get on the board. 
You got to hand it to Coach Gilbert Brown. The corners are playing man coverage. The receivers go quick post. It's almost like a quarterback draw. Peyton takes it outside. There's nobody there because of the man coverage. Great call by Gilbert Brown. Taking full advantage of Jessica Peyton's athletic ability. An obvious de design quarterback sweep to the left side. A great call on third and goal. Seattle's Chris Michelson right now thought he'd be blowing Green Bay out. And here it is, tie ball game, Mitch. Who would have called this one? Now Green Bay going to go for two points from the three-yard line. Nothing in the flat. Going to try the right side. And the defense comes up led by Megan Hansen. So the score will remain six to six. Gilbert Brown is so happy right now. Even though it wasn't a great drive for Peyton, she has the confidence. She knows she can score on Seattle. It's a tie ball game. Who knows? Maybe they can pull a huge upset tonight. As you mentioned, a short field for the Green Bay offense. They only needed 15 yards to pay dirt. Now first and 10, right side pitch to Stevie Schnorr. Schnorr cutting back to the inside. And on cue delivers another seven yards as we meet the Seattle offense. Stevie Schnorr, running back. Megan Hansen, tight end. Deanna Schaefer-Cotter, tight end. Jessica Hopkins, wide receiver. LaShonda Fowler, wide receiver. Stormy Keffler, center. Angela Rippin, your starting quarterback. The keys tonight, Mitch, are not going to be the quarterback. It's going to be the running back, Stevie Shore and Jessica Hopkins. With this running game, can they power Green Bay? A second and three handoff to Hopkins. Nothing doing. That's Stephanie Ponzer coming up from the corner position. Watch her come up the attack. That's what you have to do as a cornerback. Play off the wide receiver block if they're out there. If not, you got to attack the running back like she did right there. Great play. Stephanie Ponzer. Did not have a great 2013 season, but expecting a lot from her from the corner position. Coach Gilbert Brown really coaching this defense, Mitch. He really thinks this team has a chance to be a championship team. I don't think they're yet, but Coach Brown does. Now a third and one play. That again to Stevie Schnorr. And Schnorr goes for six yards. That will be enough to move the chains. And Seattle content to just get this done on the ground. What this is going to do is set up their high-powered passing game with that cross buck action in the backfield. Power running by Stevie Schnorr. The safeties have to come up, and Coach Michelson loves that because they can go play action with Rippin and throw it past it over the safety's head. Now a first and ten on the Green Bay side of the field. And Angela Rippin barking out orders. Rippin under center. That's a fake handoff, double reverse, this time to Jessica Hopkins on the left side, cuts back in, loses the ball, and that looks like Megan Hansen on the fumble. Wow, they're taking the ball out of Rippin's hand, they're trying to chicanery, the double reverse to Hopkins, usually that would break it, but Gilbert Brown has this defense coached up, they didn't fall for that double reverse. That was Kara Alexander. The aforementioned Alexander with the big interception there, the forced fumble, having a great night from the corner position. I'm not used to seeing a Seattle offense shut down like this. Usually by this time in the game, they'd have at least 21 points on the board. Coach Chris Michelson not happy with what he's seeing from this offense. Now a second and two play. Right side pitch out to, Sh that looks like Schnorr. And Schnorr will go for seven yards. It is like clockwise right now, Bobby. It is six, seven, six, seven. It, 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 she's just consistent. It looks boring. I mean, it's not the old Seattle offense. She went out there real slow, but just pounded a Jim Brown-like and just moved the whole pile seven yards. It's ugly, but effective. They're moving the football. Now a first and goal. LaShonda Fowler coming in. And Seattle once again inside the red zone. Last time they were down here, they scored. Again from the wishbone. Rippin with the handoff. No, fake handoff. Design roll to the right side. And going to try for the goal line, and Rippin gets in. That will go for six for Seattle. A bootleg off the wishbone pack right there. Who would have called that Angela Rippin? She's down right there. Might have got the wind knocked out. But watch, it's a bootleg. There's the wishbone. Here she comes. She's a big girl. 
She powers over the safety for six. She is not looking pretty tonight, but she's very effective. That's the second drive she's had going in for touchdowns without completing a pass, Mitch. And that was a quick look at Mary Hansen, the backup quarterback, warming up. So obviously they are concerned about the health of Angela Rippon. And there is Mary Ann Hansen. She's coming in right now. And you know what? You have a quality star quarterback backup. It is powerful that they are this strong at the quarterback position. You normally don't see this kind of depth. An inside rush. And Mary Hansen could not wait for the play to develop. But the extra point attempt is no good. You could see that rush up the middle. And the score will remain 12 to 6. Seattle on top. Marianne Hansen had the receiver wide open. She had heavy pressure up the middle, overthrew the receiver. Hopefully, Andrew Rip Angela Rippon looks okay on the sideline. We'll see if Coach Michelson keeps her in the game or it goes with the new quarterback, Marianne Hansen. We are coming up on the two minute warning as Green Bay takes over. Peyton back to pass on the left side to Anna Hazeman and just overshot her. And that will take us to the two minute warning. Back to Seattle, and as we return, we've got Coach Michelson mic'd up, and he is fired up tonight. Hurry up! Angela, watch the clock! Angela! What the fuck is she doing? Let's run off the field! Run! Listen, we do not fucking walk in fucking goddamn Seattle. Listen to me, sit the fuck down right now. Listen, you do not fucking walk off my field, ever. And a fired up Coach Michelson. Wow, I've never seen him all over a quarterback like that. He's not happy with his new quarterback, Angela Rippon. I wouldn't be shocked if he made a switch right there. He said, this is not how we play in Seattle. He was unhappy with her walking off the field. Now a second and 10 for Green Bay. Scrambling to the left is Peyton. Nothing there. Cuts back to the right side. And that should be an illegal grounding call but no flag as Megan Hansen had the pass rush. She has the athletic ability to avoid the rush like that. You're right, it should have been a flag. She got away with it, but at least she's thinking. She didn't want to take the loss. She's doing okay, she's hanging in there. Green Bay is in this ball game. She's not playing great, but they're in there. Now a third and 10 play. Once again, a lot of rush up the middle. This time, DSK and Megan Hansen. DSK, Dina Schotter cotter Megan, a, Megan Hansen playing big tonight, Mitch. I'll tell you what, Jessica Payton right now, she looks a little bit rattled. In the pocket, Andy Erler would have made a big play right there. She made nothing happen. Now backed up to the seven yard line is Green Bay. They're gonna try a shot over the middle. That's Jessica Hopkins. Hopkins stepping in front of the Payton pass and that went for six. Bad read right there by Peyton. Great play by Jessica Hopkins. They're playing man-free coverage. The corners are man-to-man. -man. She roams in the middle. She read Peyton's eyes. Rookie mistake. She saw the pass coming underneath. Safety came up. Hopkins, she made a great play. Huge turn of events for Seattle. Green Bay might be going down the tubes in the first half. That was such a key drive for Green Bay. A big interception for Jessica Hopkins. As we talked about earlier in the broadcast, she is one of the best dual threat players in the game. An outstanding slot receiver, and as we all saw there, one of the best safeties in the game. You see Angela Rippon back in at quarterback. Now a two-point conversion by Jessica Hopkins. Although we've got a flag on the play. I think they're bringing it back, Mitch. That was a five-yard penalty, apparently a false start on Seattle. And they'll get another shot, but this time backed up to the eight-yard line. I think Rippon's got to put the ball in the air now. They back it up. It's good to see her back in the game, Mitch. I'm glad Coach Michael sent it for a second there. I thought he was so upset with her that he was going to put in another veteran, Marianne Hansen, but he left her in the ball game. I think that's good for her confidence especially a young quarterback in Rippon. She's been in the game for three years, but still a very young quarterback with a lot of upside potential. And I think that's what Coach Michelson is looking at here. And here's the two-point conversion again over the middle and just cannot get it to the receiver. So the score will remain 18-6 to Seattle. Very surprising. Rippon has a strong arm. I get granted she had pressure right there, thrown against her body, but again it was underthrown. Wide receiver was wide open. 
Almost a minute left here in the first half of play. As Green Bay takes over and Peyton from the shotgun, scrambling to the right, nothing doing. Stevie Schnorr from the middle linebacker position. And the Canadians have been all over Green Bay in the backfield. Coach Michelson told us in the pregame talk that he was going to do that tonight. We have a young quarterback, Peyton. They came with a corner blitz, Cobra off the corner. Pete all over Peyton, and Schnorr comes up with a big sack. And the clock winding down quickly on Green Bay. And Peyton going to try the left side. That's a one-handed stab. Pick six for Jessica Hopkins. One of the best interceptions I've seen in the game. One of the best interceptions, but one of the worst passes I've seen in the LFL. The ball floats out there. Look at that. It's a wounded duck. A one-handed stab by Jessica Hopkins. The all-fantasy safety. She's showing why she's all-fantasy right there. Wow, Mitch, great play by Hopkins. What a highlight reel finish to the second quarter for Jessica Hopkins with not one, but two pick sixes. Two pick sixes that changed the complexion of this game. Jessica Payton right now ends up having a horrible first half. Her two picks have cost Green Bay a chance to go head to head with Seattle. The score now 24 to six. Seattle going for a one point conversion here with Rippin on the left side. And she could not get to the goal line. Not sure about that call, Mitch. You have the power back, Stevie Schnorr back there. You have Jessica Hopkins, but you let your quarterback, maybe your franchise quarterback, Angel Rippon, take a shot like that. Not sure about that call at all. A tough time in the first half for young Angela Rippon being coached up by Coach Michelson. Tough time, but they're up 24 to 6 right now. Explain that one. I can, Jessica Hopkins. Jessica Hopkins comes through with, like she always does, comes up with two big pick sixes. Unbelievable first half for Hopkins. Now Green Bay, I'm not sure what's going on there. It was a first and 10 play. They were missing their right tight end and that is an illegal formation. And here comes the call. Illegal formation in the offense. Five yard penalty, we played them down. Jessica Payton looks rattled right now, Mitch. I don't know who her backup is, but right now her play is killing Green Bay's chances of winning this ball game. A first and 15 at some point, Bobby, you got to figure maybe just get in the locker room. You're backed up on your side of the field here. Going to try the left side, and Jessica Hopkins nearly stepped in front of another pass. Already in the first half, she has two tackles, two interceptions, almost a third. Now, Jessica Payton, on the other hand, a quarterback, is just throwing the ball up anywhere. There's no rhyme or reason. If she keeps playing like this, Hopkins might get have five interceptions by the time this game's over. Payton back to pass again in the pocket. And here comes the rush off the left end. And that was DSK again. Stevie Schnorr and DSK having fun, combining for three sacks in the first half. Mitch, you just mentioned it. Maybe the best place for Green Bay right now is in the locker room to regroup and get this team restarted for the second half. And we will be back to Seattle for halftime festivities. I want fucking food. <laughs> and that food wears green and yellow tonight. No. Yeah. But you got to want it. If no. you can't get a goddamn bench because you're scared to get in, I don't want you on this team. A tension-filled Seattle locker room as we return here to halftime festivities. Bobby Huco, Mitch Mortaza, and Bobby, a bit of what we expected. Seattle adding a lot of firepower in the offseason through free agency via Canada. And then with Green Bay, you're talking about the massive loss of Ann Erler. It's showing in the first half of this one. Absolutely, Mitch. It's tough to replace a legend. Jessica Payton's trying. She's had a couple good plays, but overall, Definitely not what Erler brought to Green Bay. That offense is struggling right now. Only eight yards through one half of play will not get it done, will it? And then let's talk about Angela Rippon, the high-profile quarterback of the Seattle Mist. You talked about it in the pregame show. What's your assessment of her through one half of play? Well, she's struggling too. It's going to take her a while to, to get the handle on that complex Seattle offense. She hasn't had any receptions, no completions in the first half. And then it, she throws that costly interception. What they are doing good, though, giving the ball to Stevie Schnorr. She's got 7.2 average on the ground in the first half. Great first half for Schnorr. She's a diesel out of that backfield, but they have kept that diesel out of the end zone in the first half. 
Let's take a look at some of that scoring in the first half. It all started on the first series for Seattle. LaShonda Fowler taking it in on this one-yard touchdown run, giving Seattle an early lead. Jessica Payton answered with her own one-yard touchdown run in the first quarter. That tied the game 6-6. Six to six. And in the second, it was Angela Rippon. What she couldn't get done through the air, she got done on the ground with this five-yard scramble. Did get banged up at the end a bit. And before the half, not one, but two pick sixes by Jessica Hopkins. And that's where we are at halftime, 24-6. to six. Now let's look at the first half stats, Bobby. Mitch, the stats are simple. Green Bay simply has to mount an offense. Eight yards in the first half just doesn't cut it. And for Seattle, with Rippon struggling, keep giving the ball to Stevie Storr with that 7.2 average. She's delivering in the first half, and that brings us to the end of halftime. And we will return for the second half kickoff after this. We are back inside a rocking showwear center in Seattle, Washington. And we get the second half underway with a big kick. And that's Amber Main cutting on the left side, finding an opening. And Main on a 34 yard run back although she was out of bounds against the wall. That's the Amber Main that we saw at the end of last season. She was all over the field. That's what Green Bay needs, a kickstart. They need to kickstart their offense right there, and Amber Lane has them on the way. And Jessica Payton in this offense, after a tough first half, will try to get some points and momentum early in the third quarter. That's what they need to get back in this ballgame, a quick score. Under center, now scrambling to the left, nothing there. Now going to try the right, quick little dump off. And one of the rare completions of the night, that one to Amber Main. Although that completion only goes for about three yards. That's okay, Mitch. She showed a lot of poise. She was scrambling around the pocket. Instead of what she did at the end of the first half, throwing the ball up for grabs to Jessica Hopkins, she remained under pressure, poised, and dumped the ball underneath to Main for a game. Second and seven now. Ball at the Seattle 13 yard line. Peyton under center. Inside handoff to Maine. And that's Stevie Schnorr coming off a powerful first half and picking it up again here in the third quarter. And a little bit of fisticuffs after that play. Just after we gave Maine such a compliment, she didn't follow her blocks right there. Teresa Gary and Amber McClellan opened the hole out. They pushed the defender outside. She ran right into it instead of cutting up the middle. Could have been a big gainer. She just didn't read the blocks. That'll back them up in Green Bay now, third and nine from the Seattle 15 yard line. Biggest play for Peyton right here. Peyton back in the pocket, complete to Maine. What a tackle by Lily Granston. Again, Granston coming off a monster first half. Seattle's defense, we never thought we'd say this, the Seattle defense outshining the Seattle offense. Absolutely right there, they're playing great, but this is the play of the ball game for Jessica Payton. I know it's fourth down and 11 against a strong Seattle defense, but somehow she has to come up with something. Ball at the 17, Peyton back to pass, design up the middle, scramble, going to try the right side, finds an opening, and just like you called it, Bobby, Jessica Peyton scrambles for a 17-yard touchdown. Wow, that shows what kind of athlete that she is. She turned on the speed burners up the middle, a called quarterback draw. Like you said, there was no pass intention at all, but the Seattle defense went back. They dropped back like a pass. Who thought there'd be a run? and fourth down situation like that. And she turned on the burners and Green Bay is back in this ball game. And the chill pull within two scores. Now going for the two point conversion, painted under center, gonna try the back of the end zone. Incomplete, so the score will remain. Seattle 24, Green Bay 12. That's just quarterback technique right there. I know she's been coached up by Mikey Burnell, the quarterback coach up at Green Bay. But she, when she rolls to her left, she's not turning her body and putting her shoulders, her off shoulder toward, toward the receiver, and, and that ball's just floating out there. That should have been a conversion right there, Mitch. Now Angela Rippon 
appears to be back to 100% health. Our medical reports say the wind was simply knocked out of her late in the second half. Now a first and 10 for Seattle. Little pitch right to Stevie Schnorr with lead blocker still on her feet. And Schnorr goes for 10 yards on that carry. There's no question, Mitch, if this ball game continues the way it's been going, Stevie Schnorr is going to be the MVP because there's no, nobody else has stepped up on offense for Seattle except her. What's the saying, Bobby? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they cannot stop Stevie Schnorr tonight. Again, Stevie just bulldozing her way, this time for four yards. You got to hand it to that Seattle offensive line. Stormy Kepler, Megan Hansen, DSK, they're all killing the Green Bay defense in front right now. Now a stoppage in play. As the officials confer, we do have a flag. We've got a timeout on the field, the Green Bay chill. And Jessica Payton gets Green Bay on the board with this 17-yard touchdown run to draw within two scores. We return to action here in the third quarter. Seattle up 24 to 12, and their offense driving once again. Angela Rippon, you got to hand it to her. Even though she hasn't looked pretty throwing the ball, she is a leader in taking this team down to score again. There's Rippon opening it up, and had Stevie Schnorr, and Schnorr could not hold on, possibly the best pass of the night for Angela Rippon, but it did go incomplete. That's the old Angela Rippon we know and love from Baltimore. She steps back in the pocket, throws a BB, a bullet out in the flat before the safety comes over. Should have been caught by Schnorr. Now a third and six from the Green Bay 21. Rippon back to pass again on the left side. And the receiver nowhere near that pattern. That was intended for Megan Hansen. I think that was Hanson's fault right there. Again, Rippin looked good in the pocket. I think she thought Hanson was going to break out to the left in the sideline, uh, anticipating the break, and Hanson never broke. Now this brings up a very interesting fourth and six for Seattle. If Green Bay holds here, they're still within two scores of this game, and certainly nobody expects them to be competitive in this game. Not at all. This is huge for Green Bay. Fourth and six, Angela Rippin trying to find daylight, nothing there. And the Green Bay defense storming, Rippon breaks out to the left side and she manages about a yard. And that'll turn the ball back over to Green Bay. What a strong play by Gellis Diaz. Now this, this game is completely turned. We thought at halftime this game was over. All of a sudden Peyton scores. Green Bay defense shows up for the first time the whole game. If Peyton can somehow get him the offense, it's a one score game. And perhaps Seattle showing some weaknesses. And I can guarantee you Los Angeles and Chicago are watching this game tonight. And right right now, Mitch, you're thrilled. right. You're right, Mitch, but they're not at that level so far from what I see. Chicago and LA are the elites right now. Now Peyton back to pass, just missing her receiver, Anna Hazeman. And that was the 2013 top receiver, Anna Hazeman. You're right, Mitch. Hazeman's one of the best in the game. I don't blame Peyton for going for her. She's got to get in the game for Green Bay to get back in the game. Keep throwing the ball to her. Chris Michelson is beside himself. He had this game locked. He, look at him on the sideline, Mitch. Now a second and 10 play from the Green Bay 20. Again from the shotgun is Peyton. A shot down the left side, a tight spiral. And Anna Hazeman. The aforementioned Hazeman brings it in. That is a 30-yard strike from Peyton. This is incredible, Mitch. They were completely out of this ball game. Where did that arm come from? She was throwing ducks at in the end of the first half. She throws a bomb to Hazeman, gets him back in the ball game. Roughing the passer. What a turn of events for Green Bay. Incredible. On a tight rope. Jessica Payton unleashes a 30-yard touchdown pass, and we have a six-point ball game. This crowd is in shock right now. You could hear a pin drop. And that is tough for Seattle, one of the loudest buildings you will see in the LFL. But as you mentioned, Bobby, this is a shocker. Nobody expected this game to be this close without Annie Erler. 
And there is Jessica Payton from the shotgun, trying to find a seam, nothing doing, trying the right side. And Megan Hansen coming up on the stop. Nonetheless, this becomes a six-point ball game, and Green Bay is right back in it. I don't know what Coach Gilbert Brown told this team at halftime, but this is a completely different ball game. And now Seattle back in the pressure seat after being up comfortably 24 to six. And there's a change we didn't expect. Mary Hansen looks like she stepped in a quarterback. He's trying to get a spark right now because his offense hasn't run, really done too much. With the exception of Stevie Schnorr, there's nothing happening good on this offense. And Hansen on her first play pitches it right side to Schnorr. Schnorr finding a crease down the right side all the way to the 20-yard line of Green Bay. When you have a running back with her capabilities in the backfield, maybe that's all you need. It doesn't look good, but you know what? Give her the ball when she gets yardage like that, Mitch. It's not the old Seattle we saw, but what the heck? It's moving the chains. Right now with both quarterbacks really untested. And you and I talked about this before the broadcast, Bobby. There's no real preseason game in the LFL. So what happens is your first game of the year always is a little sloppy. Absolutely. Mary Hansen on her first pass attempt completes it to LaShonda Fowler. And Fowler gets in for her second score of the night. Wow, that's the spark Seattle needed. They bring in the wily old veteran, Mary Ann Hansen, the MVP of LFL Canada Championship game, throws a strike for six points for Seattle. Maybe this will bring back the old Seattle offense that we know, Mitch. A key change for Coach Michelson going from Angela Rippon to Mary Ann Hansen. As you mentioned, she won a championship in Canada, and she backed that up with a MVP of the Legends Cup. So certainly no hack as your backup quarterback in Seattle. Now the two-point attempt, that handoff to Jessica Hopkins, and the Green Bay defense converging. So the score will remain 30 to 18 Seattle. Mitch, you mentioned it. Seattle didn't have a lot of time during the offseason for practice. They have two new quarterbacks in there learning the complex system. The Seattle system has over 100 plays in it. So maybe this is a good game for both of them to learn the system. And that gives Chris Michelson two strong quarterbacks going into the rest of the LFL season. And now we wind down the third quarter of play. Green Bay will get one more play in this quarter. Peyton from the shotgun. Looking to throw the ball. Now again, a designed quarterback sneak on the left side. And Peyton will go for about seven yards. And that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter. As the clock winds down, Green Bay scores, but Seattle answers. Mary Hansen guiding a two-play 35-yard drive and finding LaShonda Fowler. Back to fourth quarter action, only eight minutes remain. And Green Bay down 30 to 18. Peyton back to pass, trying to find some life. And once again, Stevie Schnorr sacks Peyton for a six yard loss. Stevie Schnorr is having a whale of game on both sides of the football. They went with a bunch set there. She had no time to throw the ball down the field. There looks to be a penalty on that play. That was a false start. And you can tell by the reaction of Stevie Schnorr. He does not believe she was offside on that play. Not at all, but Jessica Payton looks like a different quarterback here in the second half. She has all the confidence in the world, and, and it shows. Green Bay looks like a different team. Now a first and 10 play. Ball at the 23 of Seattle. Peyton looking to run, now going to throw the ball down the seam. And that is Anna Hazeman once again striking, this time from 23 yards out. 
She is an incredibly talented receiver. You got to get her the ball like this. Just throw it up to her. She can bring it down even if she's covered. You got to appreciate Jessica Payton stepping up in the pocket under great pressure, throwing a strike to Heisman for another score for Green Bay. A lot of people doubted Payton's arm. And the last two throws to Heisman have got to open up some eyes here. Especially Coach Gilbert Brown, he sees what works. It's like taking medicine for a cold. You find the remedy that works. Peyton, the Heisman, is working. And there is Peyton back to throw from the shotgun on the extra point attempt. And no good. Nonetheless, Green Bay keeping in this game. Now down only six points with a little over seven minutes remaining. The pressure goes right back to Seattle. Jessica Peyton looks like an LFL quarterback right now. She's playing like a seasoned veteran. They're only one score away from tying this thing up. And it'll be interesting to see who the quarterback for Seattle is. And that question was just answered. Mary Ann Hansen returning to the ball game. A big statement by Coach Michelson. Well, she's a wily veteran, like I said. She can control this team. And there's a reverse, this time to LaShonda Fowler. And Fowler getting about nine yards on that reverse. There's so many weapons in this Seattle offense that haven't been used tonight. LaShonda Fowler, probably the fastest player in the LFL, has only touched the ball once before that run. Now a second and one from the Seattle 24-yard line. Mary Ann Hansen back in the shotgun. Her only pass of the night resulting in a touchdown. Now from the shotgun, going to try the deep left side. Jessica Hopkins and Laura Gellis diaz coming up from the free safety position to dislodge Hopkins from the ball. That was a great play on both sides of the ball. A great pass by Hanson, a great route by Hopkins, and a great hit by Gellis diaz from the safety position to knock the ball loose. Jessica Hopkins never drops the ball, but she was forced to drop it with that hit. What a hit from the free safety position. Laura Gellis Diaz in her third year in the LFL, one of those underrated safeties. This offense looks a lot different with Hanson at quarterbacks. It's, it's clicking, it's got a little spark in it. Now a third and one from the 24. That's Stevie Schnorr again. And Schnorr will go for about five yards on that carry. You can tell when they bring the veteran quarterback, and this is nothing against Angela Rippon, because I like her. I think she's going to be a superstar in this league. But when you bring in the old veteran, it just calms the whole team down. They're winding the clock down. They're clicking on passes, running the game good. And, and it's a power position for Coach Michelson to have two quarterbacks like this. That'll set up a first and 10 from the Green Bay 21. There's an inside handoff. And that was to Jessica Hopkins. Hopkins going to go for about four yards on that carry. Can you just feel the change at quarterback, what it brings to the team? That's why it's like a pitcher. Sometimes you hate to take out a great pitcher, but you know what? It just changes the whole momentum of the team. And this is a confident Seattle team right now. Mary Ann Hansen definitely bringing the grounding effect to this offense. You just feel, as you said, Bobby, just a bit more confidence, a little more continuity as Hopkins goes in motion from under center. Hansen finding Fowler, and Fowler pitching it. That looked like it was pitched to Dina Schaefer Cotter. That was a design play, and Seattle on the board again. The old hook and ladder, great call by Chris Michelson. Just when you think Green Bay's back in the game, he pulls out one of his trick plays for six. Great call by Coach Michelson, and a great pass by Marianne Hansen. Mary Ann Hansen, the spark off the bench. Just when Green Bay threatens, Mary Ann Hansen and the Seattle missed offense answered. Not once, but twice. We'll have to see if Jessica Payton can have an answer for this. At some point, you think Seattle's going to seal this thing, but you never know the way Payton's playing here in the second half. That was a five play, 35 yard drive engineered by Mary Ann Hansen. Now the extra point attempt. Nobody there finding Stevie Schnorr, her fellow Canadian. And that will extend Seattle's lead to 38 to 24. Mitch, I can't tell you. Mary Ann Hansen, that drive was, that is why she was the MVP. 
of the LFL Canada game. That's why she is the player she is. She calmed down this whole crowd. Green Bay right now is not as fired up as she is, and Seattle looks like the old Seattle in that drive, finishing it off with the old hook and ladder. Bobby, you are in awe of Mary Ann Hansen. If she had a jock strap, I'd try to go find it for you. That's what good quarterbacks, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make like I did not hear that, Mitch. Let's talk about the ball game here. That's a first and 10. <laughs> Still don't know what you're talking about. For Jessica Payton, scrambling to the left side. Nothing doing against Stevie Schnorr with the pressure. And there is that Seattle defense. And that was a loss of a yard. That looked like DSK on the stop. Great poise in the pocket, though, for Jessica Payton. She was stopped. She came out with something. But that's the Seattle defense we saw in the first half. They need a stop right here. Jessica Payton has answered every time Seattle scored here in the second half. She needs this one badly right here. Let's see if she can do it again. Now a second and 11 back in the Green Bay 14-yard line from the shotgun. Payton trying that design up the middle run. Nothing doing. And I think they figured out that play. You're running it up. The quarterback draw, it only works if you can complete a lot of passes. They've had a couple deep bombs to Heisman, and that's what they have to do right now. That's the only thing that's worked in the passing game because she's such an outstanding receiver. They have to keep going to her, though. And we are getting close to the two-minute warning. Ball all the way back to the Green Bay nine-yard line, and this crowd coming to life in Seattle. They know this is it. Somehow, Jessica Payton has to come up with a huge play right now or this game's over. Just getting that play out before the two-minute warning. And again, LaShonda Fowler on the pressure. And I'm wondering why that is not an intentional grounding call in the end zone. That should be a safety for Seattle. It's just as good as a safety because it was fourth down. Seattle's going to get the football. Uh, a great try by Payton, a great second half. But right now, Seattle has this game in the palm of their hand. And what a game LaShonda Fowler has had for this Seattle team. And what a great few months of football here in Seattle, Bobby, with the Super Bowl championship. And now it looks like the Seattle Mists will win their season opener. As we go into the two-minute warning, it is the Seattle Mists, 38, the Green Bay Chill, 24. We return to LFL football night in Seattle. And next week, we've got a monster matchup. The Los Angeles Temptation and Mo Gaxiola travel to Chi-Town as they take on Heather Furr and the Chicago Bliss in a special night with the championship banner unveiling. The championship banner unveiling in front of the three-time champion, LA Temptation. That is the game of the year. Now a first and 10 play. Peyton looking to pass right side. And guess who's there? Jessica Hopkins batting it away. Great play by Hopkins, but it was short arm by Jessica Peyton. He was trying to go Heisman deep, but that was about five yards short. And, and you know what? Looking at the teams tonight, Seattle undefeated last year. They had a rough game tonight. Two new quarterbacks. I just don't think right now they're at the same level as Chicago and L.A. Hopefully by the end of the season, once these two quarterbacks get the handle on this offense, they'll be right there. And Mary Ann Hansen, Bobby Huco's favorite quarterback under center, faking the handoff. They're going to let her rip it in the back of the end zone. That intended for LaShonda Fowler, but incomplete. Mitch, I think that points right at the feud between the coaches. Hey, Coach Gilbert Brown and Coach Michelson they just don't like each other. And Coach Michael said if he gets a chance, even though this game's over, he should be, you know, kind of taking a knee and running the clock out. He's trying to get more points. An interesting development, although keep in mind also the tiebreakers in the LFL. That is one of them, net points. So it does matter how many points you score. Now a second and goal from the nine-yard line. Hanson under center. Pitch right. And that goes for about three yards. That's Stevie Schnorr, and she's racked up the yards. Check that, that is Lily Granston. So Lily Granston having a great game on the defensive side of the ball, now getting some touches on the offensive side of the ball. They're gonna need Granston because who knows, at some point during the year, Schnorr might get nicked up and somebody else has to 
carry the rock, and, and it looks like it's going to be her, but Stevie Storm in that backfield gives this offense of Seattle a totally different look. And now an empty back set for Hansen. Dropping back, looking over the middle, and nothing doing, evading the rush, going to throw it to the back of the end zone. And almost completed, but it did go incomplete to Jessica Hopkins. Oh, here we go, Mitch. They're throwing punches right now. Whoa! And that came out of nowhere. These two do not like each other. Perhaps the rivalry between the coaches making it to the playing field. And obviously, Green Bay not happy with Seattle trying to score. It's getting ugly right now, Mitch. Somebody's got to calm these teams down. That was a cheap shot. The commissioner's office might come in on that. That came out of nowhere. And we're going to have a personal foul penalty coming up, I would assume. Personal foul. They might throw her in jail for that hit. A couple late hits, and now talking to Coach Chris Michelson. Let's see if we get a call here. One of those hated calls in football, an offsetting penalty. How can that be offsetting? I mean, that, the one girl got mugged. I think, I think they took her wallet while they, while they knocked her down. I think everybody just wants to get out of here at this point, including the officials. Fourth and goal now. Mary Ann Hansen from the shotgun, scrambling to the left side, going to throw across her body. And that looked like Laura Gellis Diaz or Jessica Payton actually stepping in front of that pass. Payton's had a, a really good second half on both sides of the ball. To her speed right there, it looked like it was going to be a conversion, a points for Seattle, and Payton came up out of nowhere and broke it up. Payton having a decent game. Certainly nobody expected this Green Bay team to post 24 points without Ann Erler. And now Green Bay back on offense from the six-yard line. Peyton from the shotgun. Another shot down the left side. Again intended for Anna Hazeman, but LaShonda Fowler all over her. She's looking good. Even though they brought the house, they had the full blitz after her. She stepped up to the pocket, threw the ball deep, on target to Hazeman, broken up. But that's going to be her main receiver all year. Like you mentioned, her second half today, she looked good. I think as she progresses game by game, by the end of the year, she will be a seasoned LFL quarterback. Again from the shotgun, a second and ten play. Peyton, design quarterback scramble on the right side. And Lily Granston right there and telling her about it. Granston having a great game, as you mentioned. Look for her all season to help out that Seattle team. Mitch, where do you think the Seattle team is going to be this year? Can they compete with the L.A.s and Chicago's? I don't think so. Not without a settled quarterback, a solid starter. And certainly Angela Rippon has got to come down with doubts in this one. And is Mary Ann Hansen at her age the answer for the future in Seattle? Those are going to be the questions that are going to have to be answered for you to compete with L.A. and Chicago, in my belief. Bitch, I totally agree with you. Right now, Seattle has a lot of work to do, getting these two quarterbacks ready to go. Chicago and L.A., they're ready to go after a championship. They are playing way better ball. And this should be the last play from scrimmage intended for Anna Hazeman and LaShonda Fowler all over her again in coverage. A great comeback effort by Green Bay falls short as Seattle goes to 1-0 and Green Bay goes to 0-1. Chris Michelson is perfectionist. He won the game, he got the W, but he is not going to be happy when he looks at the tape because this team right now, he wants to win a championship this year. They have a lot of work to do, Mitch. Mary Ann Hansen and this Seattle Miss squad moves to 1-0, as I said, keeping pace with Los Angeles. A great back and forth battle, but that'll bring us to the end. For the great people in our truck supporting us tonight, Bobby Huco, Mitch Mortaza, we will see you next week from Chicago for LFL Football Night. <laughs>